here. Um back and it's your Pokemon Gems. Gems, Desu, and today we are looking at weird censored Pokemon facts you don't know by Papa C. Pokemon censorship, hey? Yeah, don't look. Ah. I know there's probably gonna be a lot of things about, you know, the difference between Japanese Pokemon and other Pokemon in other parts of the world. But you know, I'm Japanese. And one thing I am proud of is Pokemon because it's from Japan. But yeah, you, let's, let's just get right into it. Most Pokemon games feature the Fisherman Trainer class as a way to show off some Pokemon that can be obtained through fishing. There's nothing weird about that, but did you know that in the Japanese versions of Gold and Silver, the Fisherman ah, there you class go, the has what looks like a cigarette in his mouth? I this see. This was removed I see. in the international versions of the game and is one of the more obscure uh, forms I mean, of censorship to yeah, happen that would in make the Pokemon sense. game. That would make sense. Today Cigarettes, we'll talk more about censorship in the Pokemon youngies. from the games to anime Kids, to I mean. everywhere else, some of which you might not even know before, so stay tuned. We'll talk more about weird sprites like the Fisherman Sprite later, but did you know that there is a lot of censored Pokemon cards? For Pokemon example, cards. <laughs> we have this Grimer from the Team Rocket set that is peering out of the sewer with some people walking by. If you notice in the Japanese version of this card uh, art, the uh, Grimer's uh, eyes uh, are looking- <laughs> Really bad. Oh my. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is really bad. Okay. Looking up towards a girl's skirt, which is why they decided to change it for the English oh, version. No. So he's looking straight on instead. Grime was Reasons a dirty like this Pokemon, are mainly why cards got like censored this. when they were translated. <laughs> like this card, Misty's Tears, which has a very different artwork hey, in Japanese. That looks nice. For some reason, instead of just having a crying Misty comforted by a Squirtle, they have a crying Misty holding a star you while she's naked. I'm not Japanese anymore. <laughs> okay, there's there's no excuse for this. This this is a bit um this is this is a bit madness. Okay, okay, let's see. I'm Japanese. I could probably explain this though. This that's why that's why that's why it's because I'm Japanese. I can give you like a different view, you know. Look here, because look yeah, it's like it's not like you can it's not like you can see. It's you know, you know what? Forget it. Arrest me, man. B leave it. You take me out. There's the Moo Moo Milk card art too from the Neo Genesis set that looks fine when you look at the English Moo Moo art. Milk? Then there's the I Japanese like art, and there's just a lot to unpack here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even allowed. <laughs> well, you know what? I can't explain this. The Japanese was just being very direct. You could have just jars of milk, or you could just actually show the process. <sighs> It's just I'll realism. I'll show this image on YouTube, but we have Doesn't a sentry make it right. lying down and getting Moo Moo Milk directly from the source. Sabrina's Gengar was censored just too with the Japanese version showing it standing in a cemetery and the English version just having this white hollow foil background wow, with not much to it. So Religious <laughs> symbols in general. Kids like pretty lights, I guess. Especially non-Japanese kids, apparently. Roll tend to be censored a lot in Pokemon, whether it's the games, the video games, or anything. Like I mean, the that makes sense though, in Gold and Silver as well as Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The Japanese versions of the original Gold and Silver games of the Sage appears to be praying what's, while the international what's wrong with that? My guy's just praying. folded. In Heart uh, Gold I and Soul Silver, the religion? Japanese and international sprites showcase the Sage holding what looks like prayer beads. This seems like something that would have been removed or at least altered Prayer. for the American releases. That's However, it was only censored in the Korean version of the game to remove <laughs> the Prayer really? Beads. The weird thing about that is that in Pokemon Gold and <gasps> Wait, yeah. Yeah, it's got Silver, the sprite for the Psychic Median is also holding Prayer Beads in the Japanese version, but those Prayer Beads were censored for the American release roughly a decade before so Heart this Gold and was... Soul Silver came out. Pokemon Red and Blue I don't think anyone would be bothered with the beads. What? <laughs> Look at the one about the grandma. She looks like she has a straight out spaz attack with times 10. <laughs> like ghosts around her exorcism bullshit. What is going on, man? This crazy looking grandmama is like PG. All good. The maids. Take it out. Blue has some religious references too, and you can find some statues of Diglets in the Celadon City apartment building. Now Diglets, to my knowledge, aren't very religious. But in the yeah. Japanese version, these Diglett sprites look very differently and are actually supposed to be Buddhist altars. Also oh, for Pokemon Red- I didn't realize that. What are you doing? Did this ad- <laughs> not good to be ja <laughs> This isn't me! Jesus, man, why would you do that? Releases, the these Lavender the Town theme was altered a little bit. 
There's a lot of stories behind Lavender Town in general, but the main reason why the uh, Lavender theme Town was theme was changed for international releases was to make it sound less creepy for kids and because of rumored reports that children would get headaches from the high pitch of the original theme. Um, I don't know about that. I didn't know that pe the kids were getting headaches, but the Japanese one was much creepier than when I played the English one. I remember that. I don't think it would have gave headaches. I mean, the high pitch was annoying. Children at those times maybe were super effective to high pitches maybe? I don't know. Then in Pokemon Gold and Silver, Lavender Town was given a much more cheerier theme overall and had a major overhaul in the entire city to give it a very different feel from the Lavender Town from Red and Blue. In Pokemon Gold mm. and Silver, the Japanese versions call the bike shop the Miracle Cycle <laughs> Shop, which persists in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver as well. For some reason though, the name was removed in the international versions of the game, so the bike shop really? just doesn't have a proper name. I don't ah, know why they would do though. that for the bike I shop, know. but if you're still watching, then chances are you're enjoying this video, so consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Pokemon videos. Yes! Definitely, Papa C. Like the video? Done. <laughs> easy, easy. And look at this. Boom. And subscribe. <laughs> Papa C, man. If you if you noticed me, I I I love you. That wasn't me being um something weird or anything. Don't censor me, please. Oh, come on, man. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the Conolave Library infamously has a book depicting people marrying Pokemon in the olden days. I remember that. This was censored <laughs> in the international releases I to just to my say sister, people and Pokemon this used well. to sit down at the same table and eat together. Also in Diamond and Pearl and uh, Yeah, you shouldn't marry Pokemon probably. Yeah. Platinum as well. Some dialogue was changed in the game corner to comply with Peggy's new rating standards at the time regarding gambling in video games released in Europe. So they had to tone down the gambling references as much as possible gambling in a Pokemon. casino which is a bit odd. Peggy Gambling and Pokemon was awesome, man! These new rating standards are also a big reason why gambling and game corners in general don't really appear in Pokemon games anymore. Ah, uh, no, really? Is that why? I remember when I was a child, you know, on the Game Boy Advance, spending so much time on the casino places. It was the highlight of my childhood life for a short period. Come on, man. Why, Peggy, man? Let a man Pokemon gamble. Japanese versions of Pokemon Red and Blue, the Mew journals found in Cinnabar Island imply that a single person discovered oh. Mew as it uses the Japanese pronoun Watashi, which just translates Watashi? to I. Yeah. In the international versions, it was changed to say we instead, which was most likely changed to fit more with the first Pokemon movie showing ah. multiple scientists work on and discover uh, Mew okay. Mewtwo. I'm, yeah, okay, uh, that makes kind of sense, but come on, man, Watashi, sir, you're, you're not just mine, we are yours, we are yours, no, no, we're not, we're not yours, you're, you, you, you're ours, I don't know, don't question me, huh? Uh, <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Generation 5 introduced some censoring when it comes to Pokemon nicknames. This was to prevent people from giving Pokemon inappropriate nicknames then trading them off online. That's However, a good they idea. didn't take into consideration <laughs> the fact that some Pokemon have inappropriate words that just happen to appear in various parts of their names, like Kofagrigus, Frostlass, and Nosepass. Now mm -hmm. for Kofrigrigas. I know Nosepass and the other one because they have, you know, ass in their name, but what's wrong with Kofagrigas? Grigas. Wait, how do you spell that name? I only play black and white in Japanese, so I don't really remember. Uh, there you go. What's wrong with this? Kofa Grigas. Gas? Kofa? Is that a bad word? Kofa? Is that a bad word? Let's go one by one. Ko Kofa. Off. Offa. Off. Fa? Or is it just because it has F? No, that, that wouldn't make sense. Fa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna censor that. I get it now. Okay, that's okay. Now for some more that's sprites okay, that were censored. I get it. Okay. The bulk of these come from Generation 2, like the beauty sprite who is winking and has a shorter skirt in the Japanese versions. The girl swimmer who is- <laughs> Wait, so winking is bad? That, that pose is okay. But, but the wink, but the wink pushes it. I mean, someone went- to me and I didn't go harassment! I think he mentioned skirt as well, probably that's why. Look, this is, this isn't sexual at all, but when I do this- the girl swimmer who is also winking since winking just isn't allowed outside of Asia I guess. The hex maniacs Bright and Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald who didn't have pupils in the Japanese version. Oh, okay that's a bit creepy but 
I'm used to that. I mean, because I play Pokemon in Japan mainly, like, I recognize these Japanese sprites more than the USA one. Me. The Psychic Trainer class in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald had her arms spread out a bit more because it looked like she was okay. trying to grab something. What? The Sailor in Ruby, Sapphire, Brit and Emerald is okay. now giving a thumbs up in the international versions as opposed what? to it looking at you like you just cut him off <laughs> on the highway. And the male- <laughs> I just noticed that! The oh, cool trainer changed his hairstyle. This one really isn't censoring, I just thought it was really? really weird how of all things they decided to change, this guy's hair was one of them. The PI trainer make class was also like famously Sonic? changed from being a gamer or gambler in the Japanese versions, much like how the gamer trainer class from the original Red and Blue was actually a gambler in the Japanese version. Now mm. for sprites of actual Pokemon, many of let me show you how I create oh engaging gosh. content. Many of the Gen 2 Pokemon sprites were changed, and maybe in the future we can look at general Pokemon changes between the Japanese versions and international there versions of There are a lot of Pokemon sprite games. differences, right? But for now, I let's guess. just focus on the ones that were changed for censorship reasons and not just random yeah, the subtle reasons for changes for no real reason. Crazy. First, Some there's Jinx. I'm sure you all know about this one, but if I didn't mention Jinx, I'm sure a lot of people would in the comments. And no Pokemon sprites know, just, were censored in Generation yeah, 3, but one was in Generation 4, and it was Regiseal. This one was censored in the non-English European releases of the game to have- <laughs> Oh, um, oh my days. Okay, I did not notice that. This one was yeah, censored was in the non-English European <laughs> releases of the game <laughs> to have its arms down, as the stance was eerily similar to a stance that some no-no Germans would do in the 20th century. I do also want to point out that despite them censoring some things that are deemed to be too sexual, like winking, they never censored for out Gator's Generation 3 sprite <laughs> as every- Damn, boy! The release of the game shows its butt crack. At least in Generation 4, they cropped it so you can't see for alligator's butt no more. That's debatable if that was better for the Pokemon. <laughs> you can't deny it was it was amazing. Now, I don't know if this is a result of censorship, but I always thought it was weird that naming an item that restores PP ever in the English versions didn't make much sense. Yeah, that's what I always thought. What does Edda mean? It's like some realm or something, no? Uh, the Japanese the name for either PP Aid makes a whole lot more sense, but something about a kid's game letting you get an item called PP Aid <laughs> Probably didn't go over too well with the team response for localizing the game. <laughs> this one Japan takes the win. I mean, like, even, look, look, there's a there's another one. So yeah, in what the Japanese call point up in English, it's called PP. <laughs> Jesus, like, understand that's the name change. <laughs> this one is one of my favorites too, and one I reference a lot, but in the Generation 1 Pokemon games, that man who blocks you from leaving Viridian City until you deliver Oak's parcel back to him, is actually passed out drunk in the Japanese version and not letting yeah, you pass. Yeah, that's different than the English version. In the one, English right? versions, it? it says something about him being cranky about not having his there coffee yet, and when he sobers up, he shows you how to catch a Pokemon. The Pokemon I get it, but no, Japan wins this one. Japan was just being realistic. If you see an old man on the ground, it probably is because he's passed out and drunk and not cranky about some BS. By the way, of course, if you see an old man passed out, please call an ambulance and don't just go and shout, you're cock blocking my adventure. Pokemon anime also had a lot of censorship over the years, hey, anime some of my time. favorites include Giovanni having his wine glass changed to be just a regular drinking glass with juice. Just what every evil leader of a crime syndicate needs. Oh, and a similar no. thing happened to Professor no, Kakui and Professor Burnett's wine glasses in the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, <laughs> which were changed to be mugs. They still had juice in it though, even though they were mugs and not I get it if it was a child having a wine glass in the anime, but they're adults in the anime. That's nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> like, you don't go, like, if your parents had a wine glass and go, Ah! There's children here! You monster! Not tea or coffee, which would have made a bit more sense. There's also the famous examples of food know, that... being censored in the Pokemon anime. Food! For some now we're going food. In the Japanese anime, they depict <laughs> Japanese foods like onigiri, but in onigiri the English is anime, lovely, it'll by the way, be a jelly donut or a sandwich. It's apparently to make it more suited for an American audience since we Americans love jelly donuts and sandwiches, but it's still a bit weird. I get it because you probably won't notice onigiri maybe as much. You know, it's just so the kids can relate more, I guess. But come on, man. Onigiris, trust me. If you learned onigiris, you would love it. You would go, oh yes, I see there didn't need to be a change. There's a lot of banned Pokemon episodes too, which I guess counts as censorship. However, I mainly uh, want to focus on instances <laughs> where the episode was released outside of Famous. Japan and also altered in some way, 
Like how in the very first episode of the anime, Misty slaps Ash, but that was cut out of the English dub. In the third episode of the anime, another instance where Misty slaps Ash was also cut out in the dub. And mostly just instances of Misty hitting Brock or Ash were just cut in the original anime. Yeah, when I watch Pokemon in England, I don't really see Misty hitting anyone. But yeah, in the Japanese one, Misty um, hits Ash and Brock quite a bit. And I get that, you know, violence is not good. I mean, like, hitting people is considered comedy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Looney Tunes. Let's just say it's kind of similar to that. Yeah, okay, I can't explain it. You know what? You leave me out of it. I'm not Japanese. <laughs> Most of the censored episodes for the Pokemon anime came early on, typically between the first and third generations, but the third generation of Pokemon had some really weird ones. For example, in Fun one generation. episode of the Advanced Generation Saga, James and Max had their head catch on fire from Torchic trying to go for the Ember attack, which was cut out from the dub for being too violent. So, Ash getting pretty much super affected by every move in the Pokemon world is okay. In the episode A Corefish Out of Water, a Carvana is seen hitting Ash in the back of the head, which was also cut out in the dub. Okay, there is also an episode it. that depicts a polyrath slapping Jessie from Team Rocket, <laughs> and you can see red spots on her cheek in the Japanese version from the slaps. This was of course seen as being too violent and was cut from the English dub in the United States, however wow. they actually put that just casually hit Jessie, you know, back in for the Pokemon TV releases that you could still watch on the app. And those were just some weird forms of Pokemon censorship from the games, anime, card game, and everywhere else. There was a lot of ones, yeah, I have to admit. But you know, it's because I'm Japanese, I can kind of understand it, but I can see why it's so wrong as well. Basically, like, you know, when you watch the bad guy do something bad, and then you see his story and you're like, ah, I know why he did it, doesn't mean it's right. It's like that. <laughs> that is it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. That would be so appreciated. But most of all, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya. Hum.